Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In this lecture, I will give you the uh, example and discussions of Ayurvedic system of medicine because in our lecture series notes, we are going to discuss about the traditional system that are practiced throughout the world, particularly in uh, South Asia, in Arabic words, in African words, in European words, in Chinese words, there are number of traditional systems that choose the holistic approach to treat a number of disorders. In this lecture, I give you the example of Ayurvedic system of medicine. Uh, Ayurveda consists of two words. Ayo, Ayo means life, Veda means knowledge. So it is the knowledge of life and it is the holistic approach about the use of traditional ways alternative ways by the Hindu community, by the Hinduism, but this system is a very popular system in indo pak subcontinent. It's a well-practiced system with a long history in the Indian subcontinent about the use of herbs, about the use of natural medicine to treat a number of disorder. So this is called as Ayurveda. Ayo means life, Veda means knowledge. So the knowledge of life. In this system, we discuss about the medicines, about the diseases and the procedures and the methods that are applied to disease treatment. We can use the natural medicines to treat our diseases, to become healthy, to become well-being. So this is the basically based on the health of physical, mental, spiritual, philosophical and uh, well-being. So this system is a complete system about the disease treatment. Now, I will discuss the branches of Ayurveda. According to the modern concept, there are eight branches of Ayurveda. Number one, it is the system for preventive diseases of individual and whole family. Number one. Number two, the disease treatment regarding the weight loss and dietary elements. Number three, purification and rejuvenation of the health. Number four, a beauty and cosmetics for the enhancement of the beauty. Number uh, five, male and female fertility and sterility issues, promotion of the uh, physical as well as the mental health. As far as the history of Ayurveda is concerned, Ayurveda is a old traditional system of medicine with that backs to the second century, second BC before Christ and it was let down by the school of philosophy of Hinduism. So it is mainly linked to the Hinduism and Hindu community, but this is well practiced in indo pak subcontinent. And now, according to the uh, recent literature, that the Ayurveda uh, extends towards the various parts of the world by using the natural treatment for the health. What is the basic doctrine of the uh, Ayurveda system? Because according to this system, uh, the universe is basically composed of five elements that is air, water, space, earth and fire. So these five elements have a strong impact or effect on human mood, on human health and according to this system the human body is basically composed of seven types of the tissues that is the fluid tissue or connective tissues that is the bone and bone marrow tissues that is the uh, muscle, uh, semens, and there are number of other tissues that are linked to the health of the human being. Validation and authentication of Ayurveda. In the recent times, the modern pharmacology, the pharmaceutical industries take more interest about the scientific proof of Ayurveda. There is a reverse interest towards the natural drugs, towards the natural system of the treatments. Pharmacology play very important roles for the scientific claims, for the proof of scientific claims by Ayurveda. Now, pharmacological studies, the laboratory work, the clinical trials and pharmaceutical industries prove a lot of Ayurvedic claims on scientific basis. So there is a need to correlate the data to correlate the claims of Ayurveda with respect to the pharmacology, with respect to the modern pharmaceuticals, with respect to the herbal and pharma nutraceutical as well as the cosmeceutical uh, industries. These industries are now uh, take a great interest towards the approval of uh, claims by the Ayurveda system of medicine. So this field of Ayurveda is now again popular among various communities among Indo-Pak subcontinent and throughout the world. 
What are the overall benefits of Ayurveda system of medicine? There are number of benefits of Ayurveda system of medicine. Number one, this system is basically the system that is used the plants, herbs, nature, flowers, fruits, different parts of the plant. So this system has a lesser side effect. Number one. Number two, these raw materials that are used in Ayurveda are cheaper as compared to the allopathic, as compared to the synthetic drugs. Number three, this approach is basically a holistic approach that can find to the physical, mental, spiritual, psychological, philosophical and ethical uh, health of the human body. So this approach is a very useful approach, is a complete approach for the healthy life, for happy life. The other benefits of Ayurveda includes uh, the use of herbs that are easily available, the use of spices, the use of, use of food plants, nutrition rich plants that are easily available in kitchen, easily available at the homes, easily available in the surroundings of the farms, agriculture land. So this approach is basically easy and quick use of the plant base for the treatment of diseases. Ayurveda other benefits include the relief of stress. Ayurveda is also very useful with respect to the uh, uh, mental growth, with respect to the well-being, with respect to the dietary. It basically based on simple dietary objectives. Uh, the Ayurveda is also important for healthy people as well. Not it is important for patient. It is also important for the patient, but it is also important for the healthy people to become happy life. Ayurveda system is also important with respect to simple dietary lifestyle, lifestyle changes. So these changes uh, make you are healthy. So the use of Ayurveda is a more effective way for the treatment of uh, diseases as well as the AP and healthy life. What is the challenge of Ayurveda system of medicine in recent decades? Uh, there are basically two challenges towards the Ayurveda acceptance at the global level. Number one. Uh, young scholars may not take more interest in Ayurveda as compared to the old people, the knowledgeable people, the scientists, the herb herbalists and the naturalists. So there is a need that the young people should give the incentives, should he give the modern view of the Ayurveda move toward the global acceptance of this system of medicine. Number two, there is a need for the relationship between the modern institution, modern research institution and the Ayurveda system or Ayurveda institution that this multidisciplinary approach may work more effectively for the global acceptance of the Ayurveda system of medicine not in Indo-Pak subcontinent but throughout the world.